You didn't say that. You really didn't say that. You see this cup of tea? If you did say that, it's going to go all over. I did. I did. You, you better say, I'm very, 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 very sorry, Rog. <laughs> <laughs> Never make the dare with me. <laughs> the reason I don't like that, and he knows it, is because when I was uh, in the factory, we used to sing all day. I was in a sheet metal work factory, so you guys in Newport, you know about steel and metal and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, what you used to produce in Newport in those days, when you used to make things, uh, we used to get in sheets of metal and we used to make uh, very early computer cabinets and things like that, shop signs. Anyway, I was with 25 guys in a, in a tin shed with an asbestos roof and all day long we were guillotining and sawing, and filing, welding, bashing and crashing and making generally a cacophony of noise. And we didn't have any entertainment, nothing at all, but what we found we could do with all these machines, hammers, everything else, files, we could get the best bloody rhythm section you could ever imagine. <laughs> so we used to, we used to, uh, we used to kind of bash it out to it. Anyway, when we started to sing at our best, the governor would always come into the factory and say, get on with it! And I hated him for that. Well, I can't tell you how much I hated him for that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, but we, we did turn out some work and we turned out, the, yeah, the fact of it was, when we were singing, we were working twice as bloody hard, I tell you. But anyway, this song was about those days in the factory, and it's about what was the best thing in the, in the life of a, of a nine to five or an eight to seven or whatever hours you work. It's those wonderful weekends. This one is the one that I wrote. It's a number called Days of Light. <laughs> 